What up, Mr. Sparky? How's it going? So, this video is about whether or not apps can save trucking. Whether or not an app will change the professionalism of drivers. Whether or not an app will make people care about one another, bring people closer together or not. Now I don't think that there's an app out there that can make trucking better. I don't think there's an app out there that can make drivers care more about one another. I don't think that there's an app out there that is going to change anything in the industry. I'm pretty sure that all of the apps that are out there now do more than enough to help you on a daily basis. I'm pretty sure that the apps that are out there now help you find parking, help you create a route for yourself. I'm pretty sure that the apps out there are able to do everything we need them to do and then some. I'm sure they all do some useless stuff that we don't need. So let's think about this. Let's think about this. There are people who create apps all of the time for different things. Whether it's for directions, to order food, um, to give out coupons, whatever it is. What is the main goal of these apps? Primarily, the main goal of any app is to create revenue. Okay? Revenue for whoever it is that created the app or whoever owns it. That's the main goal of an app. It's all to make money. What do you think an app should do? What do you think a good app for the trucking industry should do. To be honest, I don't think we need any apps. Guys did what we're doing for years without a freaking cell phone for crying out loud. Guys did what we're doing for years with nothing more than a map book and a payphone. There truly is no reason to create an app other than to make money. So primarily, any app that was created around trucking is to make money off of the industry in one way or another. Now, whether or not it's making it off of the drivers, or a freight company, or a trucking company, or a brokerage, or a truck stop, they're making money off the industry. Making money off the industry. And no matter who you make that money off of, it's going to affect the drivers. Because that money comes from somewhere. It comes from someone's budget for something, somewhere along the line. And I think if you're going to design an app that allows drivers to interact, all you're going to do is create more and more 
hate, drama, and discontent for one another. You're giving drivers a platform to continue talking shit to each other. I agree. Tim Tim Rowe made a good comment. I think all this technology is simply making people more stupid. I agree. You become so people become so reliant on their technology, on their apps and their GPSs and their phones and everything that they don't know how to problem solve anymore. People don't know how to figure out things that happen to them. It's crazy, right? I agree, Trucker Jim, that there are apps out there that save time. That there are apps out there that can assist us in what we do. But I think the technology is starting to really control people. There are people out there on the road that if their GPS dies, they wouldn't know how to get from A to B. There are people out there that if their app crashes, they wouldn't know how to find a truck stop. Can you believe that? Trucker Jim, I don't know if that's really the real Trucker Jim, but I'm blocking your ass. You know why I'm blocking you? Because if you are the real Trucker Jim, you along with everyone else was dick riding, the Travel Loco name and all up on little guy's leg and my leg to try to get some views. So you know what? You know what? Go back to your little corner. That Even if that is the real you, I don't give a shit because I feel the same way. Put it this way, there is an app, there isn't an app out there, or an it, or the, and there isn't an app that might be coming out that will save the industry, that will make it a better place, because the only thing that's going to do that is the attitude of the drivers. The way that drivers feel about one another, or the way that drivers feel about themselves. There isn't an app that's going to fix that. You understand? Anthony Ciprini, I'm going to answer your question because it's the second time you posted it. Why do you keep blocking trolls? No offense, man, but be a man about it uh, and control the situation. I am controlling the situation by blocking them because they're typing shit that is irrelevant to what I'm talking about. Therefore, I don't need to read it. The only thing that's going to make the industry a better place is the drivers. That's it. Someone that drove for a year and had an epiphany, create an app. Not going to happen.
There isn't anyone. There, there isn't any app. There isn't one. There isn't an app. Trucker Path, Trucker District, 120. None of them are going to make the industry what it was years ago. None of those is going to change anything. That's right, Boston Mike. You're, you're exactly right. Boston Mike says we need to police ourselves. That's right. And we don't need an app to help us do it. We're truck drivers, okay? We settle shit ourselves. We handle shit ourselves. We're problem solvers. We don't need an app to do the work for us. Especially not one that's surrounded by legal action, mysterious investors, and a whole bunch of hatred. Listen. Trucker District destroyed a friendship, lied, and made promises they didn't keep. Trucker J says, I'm a sellout. Trucker J, how about how about you go ahead and tell me why? Tell me why. Let's let's see. There's there's time and I'll make him a moderator. Technology Rob says Technology may make things easier, but if you don't have any common sense knowledge out here on how to do basic things without technology, you shouldn't be out here. That's right. I agree. You've got to be a MacGyver at times, right? Wouldn't you agree? You've got to be able to problem solve things, huh? How about I live in the present? It's 2017. The world is a different is different. Using back in the day is stupid. You sound like an old man, but you aren't. Anthony, back in the day, I was still out here on the road. You understand? From the time I was a little kid. So I know what it was like out here 25 years ago. And it's a reference to when people, it's a reference to when people gave a shit about each other. Somebody type in there that a few of these people need to refresh. They're saying that they can't see me. Tell them to close out the feed and come back in. You have no clue from 25 years ago. Okay, cool. Whatever. <laughs> see, there you go. Terry says... 25 years ago, back in the day, he, he was a driver. You know, or back in the day, he was a driver. It's a reference. What's up, Miss Pearl? I see you. Yeah, I don't know. Every might be the YouTube app. Everybody seems to be buffering a lot for some reason. I don't know. Hello, Dakota. Twenty-five years ago, you're twenty-five now. Well, I'm ten years older than you are, Anthony. What you guys don't understand is an app like Trucker District will give people a larger platform 
to continue hating each other. And do you really want something that's going to be able to track you all over the place and let people know where you are all the time? Don't people bitch about that now with, you know, having e-logs in their truck? Yes, there was sarcasm in my hello to that little girl because whoever's typing that keeps typing it and it's fucking annoying. It's annoying when you retype the same comment over and over, all right? I see them. I'll get to them on my time. It's my feed. Do you understand? If you don't like it, get in the ditch with your other trolls, your other friends. Get it? Little dog sold out. You keep saying I sold out. I would love to understand what you mean by that there, Trucker J. I'm going to unblock him, Wilbur. I want to see what he has to say. I see Left Lane in here. What's up, Left Lane? Oh, there's Lane Scott. Let me give you a little wrenchy wrench. I believe I, I agree with you, Daycap Dave. We need he says we need to come together as drivers instead of pissing on each on on other drivers. Help each other when needed, etc. That's right. Yeah, Shane, I don't know. It says I've got a poor connection. It goes it's going in and out. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's it's nothing against you, Ian. These people are, are a little frustrated. And hello to your daughter, Dakota, who is 11. I have a 10-year-old, so very close. Yeah, I would love to know how I qualify as a sellout. That'd be great to know. Let's, let's go outside for a minute, shall we? Maybe it has something to do with the, where I'm sitting in the truck or something. Teresa, I'm going out here to smoke. I'll be right back. I'll be right outside the door here. No, I'm not parked next to a Swift truck. Polished trailer. Little guy put a smile on your face. You want to know why? Because Matt was the showman. He was the happy guy all the time. He was the good guy, I was the bad guy. I'll tell you like it is all the time. There's no reason to fake my feelings about something. There's no reason for me to try to be a jokester all the time. I'm the serious one. Hey, Dark Knight, you want to know why people call me a sellout? Because I'm making money. Signs of success. My co-pilot has been doing amazing, Wilbur. 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this stupid live feed. Why is everybody saying 73? Am I gone? What the fuck is going on with YouTube? Buffering still. The Zello app is making me buff. Sparky, I don't know what your thing is on Zello, so one of the other moderators might be able to look you up and, and block you. Sparky2486. All right, we'll get you unblocked. They need a wheat boost. Maybe they do, Dave. Well, listen. Oh, and someone mentioned this trucker logic before. So trucker logic, huh? So check this out. We have reason to believe, we have reason to believe that trucker logic is one Marcel Alvarado. That's right. The founder of trucker district. who states that they're going to make the industry a better place is creating videos in order to try to put all of the YouTubers, YouTube truckers, or trucking YouTubers, uh, go back and forth at each other. The funny thing is, is, uh, We all talk. Now, trucker hypocrite buster is Randy Gray. And the thing about it is, is we've all fl we're flagging all of this content. So the pieces that they steal out of our videos or images or names, it creates a strike on their account. Ike has filed one. I have filed two. Trucker Eric has filed one. We've all filed different ones. Anyone that's been in any of their things. So. The thing is, that channel will be gone. And it might be YouTube, but it's still illegal to steal people's shit. Trucker District is bad. That's why I left. That's why I was the first one to say I'm not promoting your shit anymore. No, Anthony, I haven't talked to Matt. Last time we spoke on the phone was the night he did his live feed. After that, it was uh, a couple text messages. And to be truthfully honest, if you think that putting logos on my trailer is selling out, then every time you wear a Nike shirt, you're a sellout. Every time you wear anything with a logo on it, you're a sellout. Anytime that you buy something, because of its name, you're a sellout. Difference between me and you is I'm making money off of it. You're spending the money. So, uh, as I've said before, you haters, you got some shit to learn.
Oh man. It's pretty funny. And uh got this when we were at the um uh cracker barrel. And uh I will say that red arrow root beer is pretty good. Uh but it's no Virgil's. It's just not. Weird race, what's up, man? Um, I gave me a location of where to get some Swamp Pop. I'm looking for it because I'm in Louisiana, but we'll see. I bought another. I bought another kind of root beer. We'll see. That's right. Every time you guys wear anything with a logo on it, you're a sellout. want you guys to know that. Anyone that supports Trucker District does not support the trucking industry. Remember that when you see them at GATS. If they show up with previews of their app on pieces of paper. You're a sellout when you make money advertising not wearing a logo. You're a dumbass when you write sentences not making any sense. Alright guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Everybody says that this shit is like lagging or whatever. But I will tell you this. It's good now. Yeah, the poor connection said it went away. The poor connection went away. See, and that's the thing. Check this out. You guys have called a few of us sellouts before. Myself, Ike, um, Matt, you know, Allie, Knight, Josh, all of these different people. You guys have all said, oh, you're sellouts, you're, you're sellouts, whatever. When's the last time you called LeBron James a sellout? Or you called Kim Kardashian a sellout? Or you called, I don't know, any movie star or athlete? Anyone that gets a sponsorship deal for shoes or clothing or has their own perfume or their own cologne or whatever, when have you called them a sellout? I didn't hear you guys call that numb nuts from San Francisco a sellout when he took a knee during the national anthem. Didn't hear any of that. That's right. Grumpy, people buy cars based on the type of car. I'll never understand it. Hey guys, I'm going to get out of here. Got a little more driving to do before we shut her down completely for the night. Do me a favor. We'll finish this conversation over on Zello. I want to talk more about being a sellout. 
I want to talk more about Trucker District and about the people that support Trucker District. So head over to these trucking YouTubers on Zello. Join myself, Left Lane, Lane Scott, Ike Stevens, Yukon, Daycab Dave, uh, Grumpy Trucker, all of the guys over there. Come on over there and hang out with us. I will talk to you guys later. Get over to Zello. Limo Joe, come over to Zello, man, and we'll talk about it over there. I'll tell you guys some inside information on Trucker District. Yeah. I'll tell you some secrets on the Zello machine. These trucking YouTubers on Zello, come and check it out. And uh, let's say it one more time because you guys seem to like it, but you haters. You got some fucking shit to learn.